Hey guys, welcome to TCR. Sid here. Thanks for clicking on the video. If you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Today we are taking the kids in to get debutted so that their horns don't grow in. It just makes it a little safer for them so they don't get hung up on fences, so that they don't try to skewer you like a shish kebab when they get older. And it'll be easier for me to sell them to somebody without them having horns. So we're gonna take them down the hill and back up the hill a little bit, down the hill some more uh, to go get debutted. Spots. Yeah, you're gonna look like you got pro by aliens when we're done. <laughs> I got a silver spray I use. Good baby. Yeah, I was reading a lot of people say don't use blue coat afterwards because it. You can't. It just stains. I used to use it for years, yeah. but everyone goes and hugs their goat, and then, oh, and then they get everywhere. blue all over your face, and then when you yeah. try to wash it off, it looks like a bruise. Right. <laughs> so it looks like you're abused. Handsome. You're fine. I know that was the easy part, though. I hate to tell you. This they they the were good in the part. car ride, though. Oh, good. And I was surprised Mama didn't pitch a fit when I pulled them. I really thought she was. And going to. make sure that's one of the things when you get home and you put them back with Mom. Make sure she accepts them all because sometimes they smell funny right. from the burnt smell, and then she will reject them. So you got to be a bit careful with that. Okay. Okay, sweetheart. Are you ready? Want to squirm for a sec? First, the baby screams. Ah! 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 And that skull. Ah! You can't go any further than that. Ah! I know, buddy. Ah! I know. I'm so sorry. Ah! Ah! I know. It's so mean. I know. If you want to touch her, just kind of oozing. Ah! Perfect. So yeah, some people say go to a copper ring. Mm -hmm. I go all the way till you see the white okay. skull. So less likely you know. to have scurs mm -hmm. and stuff. Boys are always more likely to have scurs than girls just because they have testosterone and it makes them want to really grow some. Well, that's why he has horns, them but... already. Like he had them uh -huh. like right out the shoe. Born. There. Yep. 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 Look at you now. You're like a little. You were probiotics. Unicorn. Yeah. Huh. You wish you were a unicorn. Then it would only be one burn spot. Right. Hey, shall we? But they handle it so well, it's amazing. Like they'll go back to acting like nothing ever happened by right. tomorrow. Right they might on. scratch their head. Sometimes they'll bleed a little bit if they break open the cauterization. Mm -hmm. But they okay. should go back like nothing ever happened. And anything cool. aftercare wise that I should do? You can spray it if you want. Okay. Um, I usually don't with mine. I spray it the one time and then I put them down in their pen and that's it. Okay. If they start to rub it off or have, you know, any kind of little bleeding or whatever, you can spray it just to kind of keep it from getting infected. Okay. But that should be it. Keep an eye out for infection. If there's any kind of pus or anything coming out from under the scabs, if there's a foul odor or something like that, definitely, okay. you know, you would want to start them on antibiotics either from a vet or if you have it at home. Right. Um, but that and bleeding are the main two complications. But, and I've only had it happen a couple times in all the years that I've been this buddy. But I know it can't happen. So, so blood spurting bad. Yeah, blood that's, spurting bad. That's little, kind of the general rule. Little dry trickle, fine. Well, yeah. I say it because I had somebody that I disbutted for, and I had told them, you know, if they bleed like a little bit, it's fine. But you know, if there's anything excessive, let me know. And she sent me a picture of this goat. She said, "Is this a normal amount of bleeding?" And the goat's entire head looked like one giant blood clot. And oh I was like, God. oh my God. Like, no, no, that's, that's not, not normal. normal. <laughs> you need to put pressure on that. Woo! Sometimes you think, you know, just basic uh, common sense instincts would take over, but not always for like, some people. <laughs> right? If that was your kid, would you Any think that was first normal? aid or medical training no. at all? Nothing. Like... <laughs> yeah. Nothing at all. <laughs> Baba! I hear you. I we're, know we're you're bored. You. We're not dehorning you, I promise. He's like, I want out of here. Oh, I miss mine being that little. I know. Mine's all grown up and... I can't wait till you're a little <sighs> more grown up and can actually walk around. Well, that that part, that is, there is the fun oh, age of that. I know. Yeah. I could go back to riding my horse. <laughs> I know, Mama. Is it okay, Anne? I okay. know. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know. Okay. I'm gonna come around and fix that side. It's not quite completely detached. Gotcha. Ah, ah, that's ah, completely detached all the way around. 
I'm sorry. It's I'm okay. Here. I know. You'll never have to do this again. And you'll be so, so beautiful. And you don't have to get bandits. I know. So then you're all done after this. So see that's wanting to ooze mm. there. Oh, so yeah. I, I see. A little bit of blood right mm -hmm. there. Yeah. Okay. So if I cauterized it, but now if she goes ah. home and starts scratching it. Oh, you pee pee. Oh, oh I'm sorry. It's fine. <laughs> usually the boys that pee pee. She is my peer. Oh. She pees constantly. I was saying, it's usually the boys that pee on my leg. Yeah, no, she's constantly. There. You're beautiful. Did a good I job. You. Yeah, you're beautiful. Nobody wants goats with horns. At least not most people. Well, her, her dad had horns, horns, and I've got a scar from where he got me one day. Yep. And then her, well, her mom, you probably did, because I got her mom from Erin. Oh, yeah. So, probably. Yeah. Hi, I'm Tira Martinez, and we have TNT Farms here in Valley Center. This is my baby Hudson, and we just Hi. finished disbudding some super cute goat. Yeah, Erin recommended her because uh, she actually did Caroline's. Uh, buds when she was a wee one. Yeah. And uh, she says she's your go-to gal for debutting around here. So. I am. Yep. You got to make sure you get somebody that's been doing it for a long time and has a lot of experience. It's not rocket science, but it definitely requires some finesse to get it done right so you don't end up with scurs and Brain you know, damage. other health problems. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Brain damage, death. <laughs> yeah. Those would be the extra bad know, problems, yeah. worst case scenario. Exactly. Um, but yeah, everything went great. So now your baby's going to be beautiful. Right on. And yeah. you've got Dobermans here that you breed on the farm as well. We do. We have European imported Dobermans that we breed. We usually do one or two litters a year. So we've got a litter coming up at the end of this month. And that's our first litter in the last year. So we're super excited about that. Um, and then we've got Nigerian dwarf goats that we breed for milk and for pets. We usually sell a lot of bottle babies. And we start our kidding season at the very end of this month and all through April. So we'll have lots and lots of baby goats bouncing around here pretty soon. Now, how do you like the Nigerian dwarf milk? Um, the, their milk is amazing. It's really? okay. higher in butter fat than any of the other dairy goats. So it's usually better than what you taste in the stores. What you get in the stores is usually from the larger dairy goats. Um, most goat dairies, you know, aren't going to have the time and the energy to milk these tiny little Nigerians. So they get the bigger Sonnens and Nubians and La Manchas. They're a lot more popular. But the Nigerian milk is a lot higher in butter fat. And so it's a lot sweeter and creamier and better for baking and cooking with. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty awesome. Right on. Huh. What do you think? I think I think our COVID baby likes it. I think so. <laughs> I think he's bored out of his mind today so far. Well, thank you so much for taking care of my kids today. Yeah. Appreciate you. Of and um, I will put some kind of link down below there in the description, guys, so you can go check out her Dobermans or goats or whatnot if you are in the area. Sounds like a plan. Right Thanks. On. Okay, so she said to make sure that she doesn't reject them once I bring them back because they might smell weird. Come on, babies. Come on. <laughs> anxious to have them out but they're not wanting to come out of their their little hostel here come on come on guys come on come here come on come here oh, let's see come on little unicorns there we go there we go oh good she's going right for the milk good 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 and she's letting her nurse letting him nurse rather that's the boy oh there we go there's the girl Okay, go milk. Go nurse with mama. So there we go. Oh good, they're going straight, straight to eat. Good job, and she's fine with them. She's good. She's not acting weird with them. Good job, mama. Sorry, I had to steal them for a little while. A little bit of a car ride. Sorry guys, the lighting's not the best in here. <laughs> but uh, good, they went straight to go to milk. She's letting them. Um, that's good. Now, I know a lot of people think that debutting is cruel and um, I get that, I do. Caroline was debutted as a baby. If you remember from previous videos about Neil, he was not. And I had to save him a couple times. He got himself hung up on fencing. One time he pinned me with his horns and stuck me pretty good. Um, had a little puncture issue from him and he wasn't trying to hurt me he just they're they're dangerous and if you're gonna have to be around your animals i think that it's safer to not have them have horns <laughs> um you know if you're dealing with a situation where you never have to see them and they're far away and in open pasture and you're never gonna have to administer any kind of medications to them or deal with them in any way 
I don't know what universe that is, but <laughs> if that's the case, uh, I could see, you know, maybe bypassing it and skipping it. But after having a goat with horns and a goat without horns, uh, I vote for without. Um, and I think that's also one of the reasons why I'll always do pulled sheep as well. Um, or I would debud because it's, it's their horns. They can hurt you and, and not even trying to hurt you, just trying to play. They can seriously hurt you. They, you know, that's just the way it is, you know? So she's happy they're back. I can tell she's happy they're back. I'm actually surprised she wasn't crying the whole time they were gone. I think part of that is because she really does trust me. You know, I know I've said it before, but because she lost the first kids and I milked her, she and I just do have a little bit of a bond. And there's things that she'll let me do that like Mike, she won't let near. But I'm glad to see that she's accepted them back. They're good, they're eating. That's a good sign. It's been, well, we've been on the road for, you know, two hours now, because it takes a while to get over there and back. So everybody's healthy and happy right now. We just got to keep an eye on them, make sure that they don't develop any infections, that there's no bleeding, um, but relatively quick procedure for them. And I think, and I know some will disagree, but I think it is safer for you and for the animal if you're going to be having them near any kind of fencing or anything like that, that that way they're not gonna get hung up. And uh, long term, I think it's better for them. Little girl, Anne, you're very hungry today. You're very hungry. That's okay. You eat all the milk, I know. You eat all the milk. You need to put on a little more weight. You're the skinnier one of the two of you. Yeah, you're the skinny one. Dang, his, his little cojones are already dropping, like a lot, my goodness. So thanks for watching guys. Let me know in the comments any experiences you've had with maybe debutting your animals. <laughs> and uh, hopefully it went just as smoothly for yours as it did for mine. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell so you get the notifications.